Hi guys, how are you? I think uh, everybody is okay and uh, today's topic is the uh, older qualification as me section 9. So what is the requirement of older qualification as me section 9 today we'll check we'll discuss this one what is the basics of the what is the basic idea? The see older qualification as me section 9 the essential variable we need to check the essential variable what are the essential variable for as me section 9 for older qualification i'm not asking the procedure qualification this is the older qualification you see essential variable is the welding process welding type base metal p number filler metal f number weld metal thickness and diameter limit backing and position and the uphill and downhill inter backing test for mode polarity so these are the variables this is the essential if in older qualification if one older qualified with this essential variable and you need to change if you need to change one of the essential variable of this uh, in this essential variable so we have to change this welder need to requalify requalification again so essential variable means that means you need to change any of the variable you need to uh, change welding type you need to change base metal then they are told that need to qualify requalify again like i am telling welding process it is, it is, if it is smw we need to change to gmw definitely that older need to requalification same thing welding type which type of welding it is uh maybe there is two types the uh, smw or gmw this is the base metal which base metal p number this p number may be one and you are using the different p number so need to change then that type is the older qualification or dequalification is the requirement older qualification the welding process welding process is related with welders and welding operators welders is smw it may be gtw it may be fw it may be gmw and welding operator is welding operator welder who welder to whom i can tell to welder smw who is welding smw we can tell to welder gtw we can tell to welder fcw we can tell to welder but if we are doing sw then we can tell we have to use the word the welding operators not the welder this welding operator welding type how you see the type is a manual or semi-automatic machine or automatic so welding type if it is manual we are doing the manual this manual is manual means current voltage means set amperage voltage whatever in the table speed everything you need to do by manually that is called manual is semi-automatic like saw this is a semi-automatic because your your current and voltage it is there current and voltage you can up and down you can increase and decrease but the oil feed speed it is already state is there if you change the oil feed speed at the during the welding it will be affect your uh, welding uh, quality machines machine is welding operator welding operator we are can use the machine automatic welding operator this is the welding type manual semi-automatic and the machine and automatic so automatic which we can use the term the welding operator machine we can tell welding operator but manual semi-automatic they can use the welding welders you see older qualification as well the p number this is the very important things so what is p number to reduce the number of welding and bridging procedure qualification required base metal have been assigned p number okay so there is so many welding and bridging procedure qualification how to recognize how to check that this material for that material this that's why they define one number that is called p number if you see a p number one means carbon steel P3, P4, P4, I alloy steel. P6, P7 is ferrite, martin ferrite stainless steel. P8 is austenitic stainless steel. So every P number have different type of material. 
so we need to know this one very well before the older qualification which p number it is coming Older qualification is section 9 is the base metal for older qualification and the qualification for production base metal. So we are doing the older qualification, these two types of the base metal for older qualification. And what are the qualified production base metal? If I do the P number 1 to P number 11, so what will be the qualified for production? P number 1 through P number 11 and p number 34 and p number 48 so qualified production based metals is p number 1 through p number 11 p number 34 p number 4x and unassigned metal of similar chemical position if there is a p number 1 to p number 11 they are using maybe p3 material and the p3 material is the chemical composition is same of the other material but it is not coming under that p number maybe in unassigned metal that is no no metal it's not such as unassigned metal it's not you know it's not inside the p number 11, 1 to 11 but it is same as the similar composition so he can use that material that means qualified production based metals p number 21 to p number 24 he only qualified p number 121 to 25 P number 5x or P number 6x, he only qualified for P number 5x and P number 6x. F number. What is F number? F number are usually used in welding procedure and welder performance. Yes, F number grouping of electrode and welding rod in QW432 is based on essentially on their usability characteristic. You see, F number F3 is there is F number only using for holding procedure. So grouping of electrode, they, they are F number is grouping of electrode and holding rod as QW432. F3 is this is carbon steel. F4 is low hydrogen type carbon steel. F5 is austenitic stellar steel. F6 is GTRW as well. So it's a holding rod grouping how to group the welding rod how to there is the assign how to assign the, your f number for particular electrode so if it is f3 means e6013 f4 low hydrogen type cs it is e8018 maybe 6718 or 8018 f5 5 it's it's this signification is e Three zero nine sixteen three zero eight fifteen austenitic F six J T W S A W F C W C S and low alloy steel. It is E R seven zero S T S three E seven one T one E R three zero eight E three zero eight L T one. So this is you are grouping the electrode as as the name of F number. Alternate F number for older performance qualification. So if it is one one person, one older is qualified for F number four, so qualified for F number one, two, three, four. F number five means F number five. Any F number six means F number all F number six. Any F number twenty-one through to F number twenty-five, all F number twenty-one to twenty-five. So from where we get this F number? We can get the directly as me section 2 part c every material have their mention the sfa 5.21 fa 5.20 everywhere if you go there every particular item is 5.21 or ffa 5.1 sfa 5.17 you go inside check that is particular which road we are using and beside that in particular that road what will be the f number it's mentioned there any f number 21 to 25 it is all f number 21 to 25 any f number 31 32 and 33 only the same f number are used during the qualification test so if somebody is qualified for f number 31 32 33 35 36 and 37 then only only the same f number as was used during the qualification but the same f number they can use only other f number they cannot use they cannot qualify it F number 34 or any F number 41 through F number 45. F number 31, F number 41 through F number 45. So the same is qualified, whatever in the qualified with qualified for the same. But some of the 
radius is different any f number 21 to 25 is all f number 21 to 25 groove oil thickness is qualification test that is ema maximum qualified qualified oil thickness so when you're doing quality less than half inch one welder qualified so maximum qualified thickness what will be the maximum then 2t if it is 13 mm and over so for group welding any welder i have welded for this particular welder qualification 13 mm and over then that is the unlimited this is this welder can do unlimited thickness range overlay if it is overlay one inch thickness qualified for t to unlimited is thickness to unlimited is overlay over one inch is one to unlimited one inch to unlimited is not below the one inch so if it is over inch then one inch to unlimited if it is up to one inch then t to unlimited Groove limitation on pipe and tube diameter. If it is OD less than 25 mm, NB inch is less than 3 4 inch, minimum size welded, maximum unlimited. So OD is 25 mm and less than NB inch is 30. OD 25 mm and NB nominal border is 3 4. So minimum size welded, minimum size welded, and maximum unlimited. 1 to 25 to 73 mm OD inch is 3 4 is 2 in B inch in 25 inch minimum and to unlimited of 73 mm over then 2 inch is the nominal bore then 73 is the minimum and the maximum is unlimited so you need to be very careful you need to remind this uh, chart at the time of older qualification Baking single sided oil, double sided oil. Single sided oil is the oil without baking, fiber tape. Double sided oil is there, but double big group oil with cheap back baking. Okay, qualification with single sided, single double sided, double sided is double sided only. If it is qualified baking, if it is qualification with single side, then qualified for single double both. But if it is qualified with double sided, it's double sided both for double sided not for single side performance qualification position the diameter limitation if you see the qualification test it is as but it is same as per sme section 9 that it is very uh, understand it is very good understanding for that so i uh, from there i set up here plate groove and pipe groove the very clear understanding position and type of weld qualified group one is group another is fillet you see plate position is 1g plate and pipe if it is 24 over 24 inch od it is 1g condition and one is pipe less than 24 inch equal in od so 1g position which 1g if it is position 1g then flat if it is condition is flat, he can only do in the flat, flat and pipe also flat. Okay, in 2G, flat and horizontal. A pipe is also same with the flat and horizontal. Plate and pipe be over 24 inch and the pipe 24 inch. So in which position, if it is 2G qualified, means which position he can qualify it? Means flat and horizontal or any other position he can qualify it? No. If it is 2G, see it's flat and horizontal. Okay. If it is 3G, then flat and vertical, not horizontal. He cannot he cannot do welding in horizontal condition. If it is 4G, then flat and overhead. And if it is go plate and pipe both for fillet well, then flat, horizontal, and overhead. 3G and 4G. It is flat, vertical, and overhead. And if it is somebody is qualified for 3G and 4G then plate fillet will for all position but in plate and pipe in flat vertical and overhead if it is more than 24 inch od only the flat 2g 3g and 4g it is all condition then pipe it is plate groove this is the five group if you go 1g 2g 5g 6g and 2g and 5g if it is a 1g 
it's f f f 2g slide horizontal same 5g slide vertical overhead that is different 5g is the flat vertical overhead flat vertical overhead and if you go to pellet is all 6g is 6g 2g and 5g is all condition 6g means one person is qualified for 6g means he is qualified for all position it is a very important chart i have to remind you have to remember this one you see the 1g 2g 3g 4g this is the plate position how it is looks like 1g is the flat condition 2g is the horizontal condition 3g is the vertical condition and 4g is the overhead condition 1g is rotated in the pipe in 2g is the, you see horizontal is it is not rotated and 5g is the it is not it will not be rotated older will be rotated and the 6g is a 45 degree angle pipe should be in 45 degree angle it is the one is the diagram it is a very common diagram flight horizontal vertical overhead is mentioned how it is in a plot plan vertical progression qualified qualified with uphill then qualified for uphill only if you will qualified for uphill only uphill qualified with then he only for uphill only in downhill is the only for downhill only in not backing gmw fc to generate if it is qualified with backing qualified with backing only if it is without backing then he is qualified for with or without backing yes if there is a backing is required your backing is required qualified with backing then he only qualified with backing he cannot go any welding without backing if it is any welder qualified for without backing there is no backing strip is there but in he is qualified for without and with backing so qualification method how do you qualify what will be the plate requirement you see welding a test cup test cup welding a test cup on 150 mm length of weld passing either use your visual and mechanical test radiographic examination failure in first attempt required to test coupon for a test okay so 150 mm length of weld one welding test coupon is required visual and mechanical test is required to passing either radiographic examination you can do if it is failure on the first time the two test coupon required for the retest first production weld after finish this one first production weld you have to go the radiographic examination failure in the first production joint will lead to radiographic examination of the complete joint and deferring it if it is the first production is the radiographic is the failure then we have to use that particular welder whatever he did welding have to full joint need to repair retest will require two consecutive production joint welded if it is retest required then Two consecutive production joint is welded, means two to four. Okay, thank you. Anyway, I I think all this from the beginning. It is a very good presentation that everything is mentioned here. What is the from for particularly older question from P number, F number. Group number. What are the requirement? What will be the qualified? If it is qualification with a particular this material, what will be the qualified for? So everything is mentioned clearly. Anyway, thank you. Everybody is understand this presentation. Okay. Thank you. I will. I will same another videos. I will go in the next. Next, maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow, I'll give the new videos, the details I'll give about this older qualification. I think this is the basic idea. Everybody has understand. Okay, thank you for watching my video. Please share and subscribe my video to continue watching. Thank you.